Hi everyone, and welcome to searchandanalysis.com. In today's video, I will discuss how to run one way ANOVA in SPSS. So, on screen, you can see this is the data sheet, and here we have four constructs or variables. First one is TT, stand for transfer of training, TR, stand for training retention. PTU perceived training utility and MT MT stand for motivation to transfer. So we have created these constructs based on the averages of the different items, so which I already covered in a uh, previous video. So in total we have four constructs here, and we are specifically interested to see the difference among the different age group. And in age group, we have five options. First one is less than 25 years, 25 to 35 years, 36 to 46, 47 to 57, and finally, 50 years or above. So in total, we have five different categories of age. So what we will do, just go to analyze, then just click compare means and you will see one way ANOVA. Let's click this option and you will see this. So what we will do, we will put all of our four construct here and in factor we will just put age group. So in options, we can click on descriptives, continue, and click OK. So this is the output uh, window. And here you can see ANOVA. Here you can see um, difference among the different groups um, like we have all four constructs transfer training training retention perceived training utility and motivation to transfer and you can see uh, one way ANOVA is significant just only in case of PTU perceived training utility because most of the time we are taking uh, the significance level less than 0 0.05 so in order to be significant this significant value should be less than 0 0.05 so we have only perceived training utility so we will go into the descriptives and here you can see uh, the mean among the different age group And we can clearly observe that in case of this particular age group, 36 to 46, the mean value is maximum. It is 4.8. Or we can say uh, the highest mean is above observed against the group, 36 to 46, this category. So we will simply interpret it as that in case of this particular group 36 to 46 perceived training utility is uh, highest so i hope you will uh, you have understand the concept how to run one way nova in spss so if you will have any further question you can write in comments thanks for watching